Five, a new crest. Four, an old club. Three, in a new era. Two, like it or not. One, the future is here. We're going to MLS Cup. Brand droid. I don't know that the Sounders are going to MLS Cup this year. Probably not. At 10 a.m. Pacific on Tuesday, September 26th, the Sounders revealed this. The club's new official crest, which replaced the one they'd worn since 2009 when they entered MLS. In addition to the crest, they also revealed four new, what they're calling, marks. Of course, this coincided with an initial merchandise drop of 26 items on the MLS store. And in case you're wondering, yes, I got a new shirt. But what is this new crest? What, what am I looking at here? The crest is clearly minimalistic. To be upfront, I personally like designs like this. But remember, minimal doesn't necessarily mean less. It can also mean mean concise, efficient, prioritizing visual clarity over overt symbols and references. The new crest maintains the general shield outline of the previous logo with the space needle still at the center. We don't know the exact numbers, but according to Taylor Graham, the chief revenue and marketing officer, of the thousands of surveys taken over the planning process, a majority of participants wanted the Space Needle to stay at the center of the crest, with the Puget Sound and the Orca getting a good portion of mentions as well. The new border is what they're calling Heritage Aqua, which is a reference to the light blue that the club wore in previous kits and crest designs. Then there is, of course, the Rave Green and the Pacific Blue. Along with the new crest, the Sounders also released marks. We have yet to see how they might be integrated into any match day looks, but here they are. Firstly, you have the 74 mark, which is obviously a reference to 1974, the year of the original founding of the original Seattle Sounders. The word mark, which features a specially designed and trademarked typeface called, you guessed it, Sounder. The carnation mark, which references the long-standing tradition of giving carnations to the fans on the final home match of the season. And finally, the Orca Mark, which is a callback to the USL Sounders logo. Orca is not a fish though, it's a mammal. You know that. I know that. You know that. And that's the reason we have Sammy the Sounder, who attends home matches and loves salmon sashimi and actually was college roommates with, you guessed it, Rain Wilson. A lot of people don't know that. How would those two get along? Right? Two different... But you're probably wondering if the Sounders took this much time and effort to develop a new crest, why also take the time to make these new marks? First, I think these are all great, and I think that they're a great way to celebrate the club's history expressed in a very deliberate way. Secondly, we gotta start moving some merch so we can get those big time signings next year. <laughs> Please. It's time for this orca to make a splash. Third, from the keep the fans happy perspective, for anyone who wanted the orca to rise to prominence again, or for the carnation, for example, to feature, this is somewhat of an olive branch. You gotta get the merch though. But that's not really all, because towards the end of the reveal video, there is an array of other potential crests that were submitted or considered along the way. And I fancy myself a little bit of a sleuth. Now, I did my best to capture as many as I could, as clearly as I could, though I realize some may have danced away from me. And I think for the sake of this, let's imagine all of these as beautifully colorized as possible. Now, I think that these are worth focusing on because this doesn't happen without these. Of the 20 designs that I captured, we seem to have four different groups. Those with a water focus, an orca focus, a space needle focus, and those that mix their themes. This is the War Turtle of Crests. It's a perfect middle evolution between the 2009 and the 2024 design. I personally would have been all right with this one. If you think that the actual crest doesn't take any risks, then this one definitely does not as well. Now, I love the Orca, but with it being very small and central in this one, it's giving me some baby xenomorph chest burster vibes. That's my gremlin's voice. Now, of all the Orca designs, this is my absolute favorite. This could easily have been designed in the 1970s, and that is a compliment. I like this for a cafe sign, but not a crest. There are just so many circular crests out there, and this disregards the unique outline shape of the Space Needle. It just pops it in there. In my previous video, this is what I was talking about when we have multiple themes of a city or region that we try to incorporate into one symbol. It just ends up a little bit clunky and it doesn't really flow. Those are what could have been, 
but what do supporters actually think of what is? And of course, if you have any thoughts, leave a comment below, subscribe, like me, like me, like me. The response from Sounders fans ranges from, it's okay, to, I love it, please get it on my body right now. I've combed Reddit and YouTube and I haven't really seen anybody who hates it. And if you're that person who hates it, leave a comment below. As I'm recording this, Emerald City supporters, nor Gorilla FC, are staging any sort of boycott over the crest? Because really, who's gonna boycott this? You gonna boycott this? You gonna boycott this? Step aside, BTS. Step aside. Also, props to user Take That Kevin on the Sounders FC subreddit who posted this edit, a neon version of the Sounders crest, which, yeah, I think I need that on my wall too. Right after I get that hat off of Christian Roldan's head, please. So, like the reviews on Steam for that video game you're thinking of getting? They're mostly positive. So do I think that this is a good move? Is this a good design for the Sounders? Yes. The 2009 crest isn't out of date per se, but I think that in five years, there would be a strong consensus that it is dated. So this was coming sooner or later. I love the style of this club, its process, its transparency, the communication, the history, and I love this new crest. I didn't like this kit though, just didn't like the sleeves. I know that they won their first MLS cup in it, but I just didn't like the sleeves. This club has helped to set a new standard for club soccer in this country. Though whatever that history may be, we as supporters must continue to hold it to that standard. The Sounders new crest won't score any goals, it won't lift any trophies, can't give a halftime speech, or ignite the counterattack, or rescue a season with an incredible save. But the people who do will wear it and be proud to do so. When anything, especially a sports team, is long-lasting and impactful, filled with memories and traditions, and not simply inserted into an area, but a product of it. It's impossible to summarize all of that into a single symbol. One symbol cannot contain the save by Stefan Fry. 2014 Western Conference loss against the LA Galaxy. Steve Zakawani's return. The collapse of the NASL. The hiring of Garth Lagerwey. That. Obafemi Martin's goal. 2019 Western Conference upset 2007 against LAFC. USL 2022 champions. CONCACAF champions. Four U.S. Open Passing Cup trophies. Of Ziggy Schmidt. The 1977 Soccer Bowl. Mr. Defeat. Sounders last Drafting game. Christian Roldan. Brian Schmetzer's post-game speech A in Colorado. Sold out 2014 Colorado Supporter Shield. Clint Dempsey's hat trick versus Portland. The signing of Nico Lodero. Two Every carnation. Every goal. Champions. Every the first MLS club at the FIFA Club World Cup. Every debut every victory. It can't contain every moment, but it can represent the values, the dedication, the culture that made those moments so very possible. Change is hard, and the Sounders have to keep evolving if they want to continue contending for titles. This crest isn't half bad. In fact, I think it's quite nice, and that deserves some celebration. I'm Brandon, this is Brandroid. Thank you for watching. Brandroid. Santa, if you're listening, Christian Roldan's Green Orca hat is all I've ever wanted in my whole life, and I promise I won't ask for anything ever again in my whole life, ever. <laughs>